Hey friends, this is the Miss of Ophi from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to attempt to make gluten-free bread. What you're going to need is, now somebody sent me this recipe, and forgive me folks if I can't remember the name, but you know who you are. Somebody sent me this recipe today, and the only thing I have altered is egg replacer and I've used one cup of teff flour so here's my flour mixture I have one cup of teff flour really really high in vitamins folks one cup of white brown mixed rice flour one cup of tapioca flour or starch same thing and one cup of potato starch one tablespoon of xanthan gum okay that's our flour mixture you're gonna need a quarter cup of dry powdered milk the instant kind uh, two teaspoons of salt, a quarter cup of butter, three fresh eggs, a third of a cup of honey, two cups of warm water, and a tablespoon of yeast, and two teaspoons of cider vinegar. This is my uh, this is my apple core vinegar. All right, let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, we want to add our tablespoon of yeast to our two cups of warm water. We're just going to let that do its business. Next, we're going to put our eggs our butter and it's really important that your eggs and butter be room temperature folks. And, oops, our third of a cup of honey in the mixer. We're going to lock that down and we're going to put that on stir. We're going to take our flour mixture and xantha gum and we're going to add our salt and our milk powder and we're just going to mix this up. Now we're going to add half our flour mixture to our honey and egg mixture. And you know what I forgot? Folks, I forgot the vinegar. Oh, vinegar. Now it calls for two teaspoons, so I'm going to put in just under a tablespoon. Look at that lovely mother in the bottom of my cider vinegar, or my apple core vinegar. Now we're going to add the rest of our flour mixture and we're going to slowly start to add our yeast water. Let's add some of that and get it mixing first. And we're just going to slowly mix this in at a drizzle. Now if it wasn't for the teff, wa the teff flour folks this would be white bread, but the teff flour is going to make it a uh, tan color. And we're going to let this mix for four minutes. Okay. Now, according to the recipe, this is going to look like a heavy cake batter, which is exactly what it looks like. So, so far, so good. Now, we're going to empty this dollop by dollop into a generously buttered bread pan. And just like cake, we're going to drop it. I'm going to turn my oven light on and I'm going to put this in the oven to rise for an hour. We'll see you back here in an hour. Okay, so here is our risen dough and I'm really happy with it. Um, I, I guess I should have smoothed it out some because it's kind of a rocky road type top but I, I'm so I'm so tickled with with the the rise of it that I, I really don't care. I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees and this is going to go in the oven let me look at my note here for 45 to 55 minutes. All right so we'll see you when this comes out of the oven. Oh my my, would you look at that. 
Isn't that beautiful? I'm just going to brush some ouch, butter over the top. It helps soften the crust. Well, here's my first slice of bread. It's the heel, of course. And it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Let's give it a little bit of butter. This is not a Papa food. This is a me food, unless he really likes it. And then he can go gluten-free, too. Oh, my God. It's really good. Yay! We're going to see what Papa thinks of my gluten-free flour. Not that he can have it, but if he, if he likes it, we just may go gluten-free with Papa, too. Yes, you will. If I do it, I'm not baking two different kinds of bread. Yeah, good. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying success! I can have bread. Mm -hmm.